Hey, good morning, y'all. It is the first weekend of October in North Carolina. And this is when things start happening around here. All right. What we're going to do today, we're going to go out here on the beach, and we're just going to throw lures today. We're out here on Emerald Isle, North Carolina. I'm about to tie on a leader here, 30-pound leader, to tie onto a Sting Silver spoon. Um, going to use a double uni knot, uni, uni, double uni knot to, uh, to some braided line here. We've got a few different rods we're going to set up for throwing lures, throwing spoons, and throwing some uh, flounder rigs. All right, so let's, uh, let's stop talking and let's roll out here on the beach and catch some fish. Now I'm tying braided line to my leader, all right, joining two lines. And when I do that with braided line, I usually do more wraps on the braided line. So that's what I'm doing here. You can Google double double uni knot, double uni knot, and see how to tie it. But I'll I'll put more wraps on my braided line. Make sure it slides together like that. Pull it together. Pull it tight. Make sure it doesn't slip. All right. I'm just gonna make a drop loop, a simple drop loop with 30 pound test, 20 pound test, 30 pound test. This is 30, and I make a drop loop. I'm gonna put a big bucktail up front as the lure. Okay. And then I'm gonna have a tail end hook dangling off the tail, and I'm gonna put a Berkeley uh, Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet on there, or maybe a, a strip bait. I'll show you how we work that out in the surf. But let me show you how I do this rig real quick. All right, I'm gonna take the drop loop part of it, make a loop with the line, make a space with my fingers, and I'll loop it through there three times. One, two, three. Okay, I'll pull it through. Then I have a tail end here where I put the 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 other hook, tail hook, a three-aught three hook. And then here, I can interchange the type of uh, lure I have, whether it's a bucktail or some other type of jig, and I just pinch the line in there. Or maybe I want to take the lure off and just use a weight and do a little bottom fishing. Pinch the line through there, slip it through the eye, loop it over the bucktail, boom, like that. And now anytime I want to change it, I can just slip that back over and put a regular weight or a different lure on there. And then uh, I got my tail hook on here with two baits, all right? And I'll cut this line up here, and I'll tie a swivel up on the t on the uh, on the top end. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Got the boys out. Let's do it. A few lures on. See what happens. All right, we're getting pounded by the waves now. Kids ain't paying attention, but here's what I wanted to show you. If nothing else, I'll go ahead and post this video. I'm gonna show you something. We just moved. And a lot of people post questions about how do you read the surf, where do I fish when I go surf fishing, all the beach looks the same to me. Once you learn how to read the beach, the beach does not look the same up and down the beach. You got to find holes, you got to find troughs, you got to find structure, just like if you're uh, bass fishing or anything else, right? You got to find that structure where fish are going to hang out. Okay, so it's a much clearer picture now. Check this out. Where my finger's pointing, right there is the bar, the outer bar. Okay, right there. And then right in here... Right in here is where it drops, and you got this little space right there, okay, like a choke point that comes through here, where that trough comes right through there. That's what we're fishing. And then you can cast out over the bar, okay, for, uh, for other types of fish. But we're throwing lures here, and a lot of times those flounder will be right in that trough right there. And I'm going to work on throwing metal, all right, throwing metal out over the bar, see if we can catch some Spanish, all right? So if you can get a sideways view, see where it drops off right there and those waves come in close. So that's the structure we're currently fishing. See how this, this point of sand, this is actually a point that sticks out right here. And then it gets close right there. So that's what we're trying to do and uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, we're hooked up there. Alright, got a nice one. Nice, not a keeper, but it worked. It worked, right? Let's see you. All right, there you go. See my bucktail teaser up top? Flounder on the bottom. All right, and he ate a, a white Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. I told you. I told you they're there. I was like, okay, I'll let him eat it for a second. All right, good job, buddy. First flounder of the fall for us. All right, let's get him back in the water. Now, what we got to do is keep fishing there because a lot of times they'll be schooled up. You could catch a few flounder in the same spot. All right, good job. All right. All right. Look at that. He choked that thing. Yeah. All right. Good deal. Let's get them back in the water here and get the hook out. And good job. All right.
All right, well, we got something else here. What you get? Got a lizard. Got a lizard. Lizard fish. Look at this guy. I want to get the flyers, guys. Cool. All right, I didn't get the action shot. You railed them in too fast. Well, you caught something. Alright, so this is what we're going to do with the lizard fish. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Flounder love this Bloopers. white feet like this, alright? Uh, hey, any of you that go offshore fishing, if you ever get some of these live, awesome grouper bait, alright? I've, I've caught many groupers on these lizard fish right here. But anyways, we're going we're gonna to fillet this sucker and I'm going to use this white meat for strip baits, okay? And uh, we're going to keep casting in the same areas and see if it makes any difference from going from artificials to the actual strip live bait. But this white meat down at the bottom of the lizard fish, a lot of guys use for uh, flounder bait. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so just to uh, kind of get a better picture of what we're doing here, kind of what I, I showed earlier, I got the bucktail up front, all right? And this is for a bigger fish or mainly a weight and a teaser. And 90% of the flounder I catch are on this back trailer hook. And I'll, I'll hook a, a live bait or a strip bait or, a, or another lure on the back. And this is where I catch most of the fishes on the back. So I got the strip of lizard fish, and all I'm going to do is hook it one time up here towards the top. All right, now when I reel it in, it's going to dangle, 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 just like that as I reel it in. The flounder like it. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so I felt a little bump, bump, and I let him eat it for a little while since I have cup bait on there. And now it feels heavy, right? Like something's sitting on there. So I'm going to try to set the hook. Maybe we'll get lucky here with another flounder. Here we go, here we go. All right. Success. So we've been working this hole hard for the past hour. We haven't gotten anything. But I know they were still in there. The tide's going out. Using a 3 out kale hook. See, you got him right in the eye there. Good hook set, though. And this guy's probably going to be a little short. Actually, though, we'll go ahead and measure him just for fun, all right? Now you gotta put his jaw closed like that. All right, I'm gonna measure him. 13 and a half, 13 and a half. Hey, so back when I was uh, my kid's age catching these things, 13 and a half might have done it, right? I think they used to be 13, then they went to 14, now they're up to 15. But hey, just fun to catch out here on the beach. All right, throwing lures, throwing rigs, working these holes, I'm gonna throw them back in there. I wanted to show you real quick, the tide's going out, and during low tide, this is when you can find the structure that you want to fish later, right? So we fished this whole drop. It's a sloped beach right here, and you can see where it's a little bit blue right there. It drops right there, and it goes right back up onto a sandbar right behind me. So we're still fishing this. Look over here. Right? That's the cut of the sandbar that goes out like that. All right, we're fishing that edge, and then if you come on this side, that's where it gets real close to the beach, right? And then onto the other side, you can see this ripple of water right here. All right, we're working that drop side like that. And now those flounder and the red drum, black drum, uh, usually when it gets a little bit colder though, but the, the drum will sit on those edges and feed. Those flounder will be right on those drops. Okay, you can see how it drops right here. You see that? You can follow that line on out. And they'll still be on that drop. And then as the tide comes in again, maybe we'll come back to the same exact spot this evening. This this uh, little channel right here, right, will start filling in, and you can see where I'm standing. It slopes up the beach. I, mean, I don't know. It probably gets, um, it goes up seven or eight feet from the lowest point to the highest point up there. So it gets pretty deep in here, and then flounder will be on that drop feeding. Um, haven't seen any Spanish jump this morning. Uh, we tried some, uh, tried some spoons, some sting silvers and stuff, but nothing. But well, what I might do next is walk out onto this bar. And now I can get out to the edge right there, and I can cast out over the bar and cast out into the uh, to the open water. Maybe there's some Spanish or blues swimming around. So again, I just wanted to show you this spot where we're fishing. You can see this little drop right here, this little channel in here. It's been going out the whole time, so it's been getting shallower and shallower. So if you're looking for structure that you want to fish on the beach, now's a good time to come out at low tide, and you can see how the beach is shaped. That's it. Caught a couple fish, wrapping it up here. See people down the beach. It's about noon, dead low tide. See how low it is, people walking out there. Maybe we'll come this evening, I don't know, but 
Uh, hey, posting this video, caught a flounder or two, and uh, fall fishing is about to kick off hard. All right. Let's roll out the All right, let's roll. Let's get out of here. <laughs>